What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. Today we have another fun, exciting video for you today. We chased a little CJ Stroud auto and pulled it a couple weeks ago out of Leaf Pro Set. Now we are trying to do it out of the Big Boy Tops Composite. We've got a hobby box here, um, which is a little bit different than the Delight. This is going to have a lot more cards come out of it. So you get a lot more of the base, you get some of the paper. You also have the option of getting like the delight version of this product, which is just pretty much just the hits. Autographs, number cards, none of the base. Uh, a lot better obviously for breaking if you're doing that, but if you're trying to collect, trying to get a lot of cards, the hobby box is the way to go. And we are looking for three autograph cards coming out of here. Normally there's anywhere between, mm, Four to six number cards as well. I don't know if it even tells you on here. Um, I know Helix is big if you can pull one of those out. And that is pretty much it when it comes to this box. Now we have hangers back here as well, which we'll rip in first. I haven't opened any of these before, so I'm not entirely sure how well these are. Uh, we're looking for retail exclusive inserts coming out of here. Uh, three chrome inserts, two exclusive resurgent rookies, purple and yellow static, and not much left on here either. But we're going to rip into these first just to see what is all in these. Now, they do say hangers are bangers. Is that true for tops as well? Or is that more of just a panini thing? We're going to find out today. Let me know what you guys have been thinking about the unlicensed product. Hit or miss, some people love it, some people don't. You know, we're getting a lot more of it now because Topps obviously being a bigger name in the sports card world, they have come out with their uh, version. And so now people, you know, that might have shied away of Leaf or Wild Card, they're dipping their toes over in Topps now to see what it's all about. There's an AR right off the rip. JJ Watt, a Midnight Darren Sproles, Jerry Rice, Randy White, Andre Reed. So like you can see just a crazy amount. I don't think we got any number cards either, but you do get a, an insane amount of cards. Um, I don't know. If I would probably go, I mean, that's the first one. So we can't judge, we can't judge off the first one. We gotta be fair. We gotta open all four before we give a good judgment. Four is a decent amount to get an idea of what these hangers are going to produce. Dan Fouts, Joe Montana, Charles Tillman, Mario Willman, Williams, Bo Jackson, there's a Bryce Young. J.J. Watt on the Midnight, Terrell Davis, Jason Seahorn. Uh, this is kind of cool looking. I don't know if that's, that's not numbered or anything. I don't know if you can even pull number cards out of the hangers, but that is a cool Drew Bledsoe. Jerry Rice, another Anthony Richardson, Jerry Rice. There's a Stroud on the paper. Three Strouds, four Strouds, count it a dollar. Four Strouds there. It does seem like, too, with the papers, if you get, like, one of the rookies, you're probably going to get two, three, four of them. That just seems like opening up the blasters, which we've opened up a decent amount of the blasters and a decent amount of the hobby. That's what it seems like it's happening. Uh, we also are doing a live uh, steals and deals show tonight on Whatnot starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. So tune into that. We're going to be selling a lot of singles. Uh Good good time for you guys to get packs and, and all that jazz. So definitely check that out. Uh, what else we got going on? We do have a giveaway going on as well. Uh, where is it? It's back there. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to the YouTube channel to potentially win a blaster box with some autos. All right, Brett Favre. There's our first Will Levis. We got a Bo Jackson, Steve Young. That's a cool on the paper, Mike Singletary. That's kind of cool. I like those cards, actually. Oh, that's a sweet one, too, on the laser. Sean Alexander. That's kind of cool. 
and uh, just a bunch of other paper cards as well. You know, like I said, if you're chasing sets, if you're trying to get a bunch of cards, you know, these are pretty nice. If you're just trying to get the top cards, the rookies, the autos, I would probably stay away from retail. It is uh, it's a lot harder to pull those out of this. I, I don't even know if you can pull a number card out of here or an autograph. We haven't yet. So I don't even know if it's possible. Let me know. I'm not great on tops as far as knowing where to find the checklist. We are going to have a nice CJ Stroud there. Ooh, backwards Brett Favre. Oh, that's just going to be on that chrome, paper chrome. All right. Sometimes they do backwards, sometimes they don't. Another lightning kind of Emmett Smith there. Cool little CJ Stroud on that one. And a bunch of paper to finish us off. All right, so some decent cards. Decent cards. I don't know. Like some of them with this product, like some look nice. Some don't. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss for me. Like this isn't that bad looking of a card, right? So a little hit or miss. But that is what the hangers, that's what you're going to get with the hangers. So... Do as you may, but let's get into the real rip of the day. This is the tops. Let me adjust this to a little bit. There we go. This is the tops hobby box. We're getting three autos here. Normally, they give you kind of like two lower name guys and then one decent auto is what I have been seeing from this product. We'll fly through some of this a little bit too. Is that point? What is that? I don't know if that, that's not points. They don't give points. I'm not quite sure what this green is. Oh, that's cool. That's a numbered Gronk. 117 out of 250 on the Allen and Ginter. Gronk, that's actually a cool looking card. All right. We'll take it. Moving forward, and then this is where you get your kind of paper as well cards. Some people like the paper, some people don't. We should have score coming out this week. I'm excited for that. Um, so we'll see what that's all about. Sean Alexander. We're going to have a Lawrence Taylor. This is going to be numbered to 199, 11 out of 199 with a Levis and a Darren Sproles. All right. We'll just, we'll just stick with the right side here. Would love to pull a big rookie here. Would love to pull Levis, Stroud, Richardson, Bryce. That's what we're really hunting. That's a cool one. I love these cards, actually. This white, all white. I don't know what that's called, but I love the look of those. Those are actually pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind getting a Stroud of those. All right. And now we are on to our last pack in the first column. Dante Hall, Jason Taylor, Jason Seahorn, another Jason Seahorn. He's all over this product. And that's a cool Joe Montana. I like the look of that card. 114 out of 175. That is a sweet looking one. It's like an aqua seismic. I don't know what they call it, what Tops calls it. But that is a pretty cool looking card. I like that color. And we got a Will Levis behind it with a Lawrence Taylor and a Barry Sanders. All right, no autos yet. Three autos still live. I think you can pull patches out of here too. Pretty rare. I want to say I've seen people do it, but it is, it is uncommon. Lawrence Taylor, Steve Young. That's going to be a Jason Seahorn. I told you guys, this guy flies out of his product. Jason Seahorn out of 99 on the Voltaic. 69 out of 99 on the Voltaic. We have a Heinz Ward, a Barry, a Quebec, and a Gronk. Gronk! Oh, also tonight, we also have 25 light horses. Uh, juiced up light horses, if you will. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for those. Those might go fast when we start the show. Another Jason Seahorn numbered card. That's going to be out of 199. That is uh, his number backwards. He's number 31. This is 13 out of 199. Jason Seahorn. 
Like I said, he's all over this product. At this rate, we are probably gonna pull his autograph too. It hasn't been too crazy of a box just so far, and I think we might've gotten gold. I think we might've gotten gold. I think that's out of 50. I think Tops does out of 50 for their golds. And it might be an auto too. We'll pull from the back till we get to the gold. D'Angelo Hall, Eli Manning. New England? Oh, I thought it was Tom Brady for a second. Wow. Danny Amendola, that's actually not bad. Nine out of 50 on the gold, Danny Amendola. I thought, I there is Tom Brady autos in here. I thought that might've been Tom Brady. That would've been wild. Pulled a gold Tom Brady. But we'll take a gold Amendola out of 50. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if that is going to be, I feel like that's going to be our best card on the auto. I don't know if that's the best name, if that makes sense. Like, we might just get a really good name base auto now, would be my guess. There's a nice Midnight Will Levis. He did not have a great game, and that's a sweet-looking Stroud. I love that. I love, I love, I love this. This is one of the cooler cards, I think, in the set. The Midnight's also a pretty cool looking card. Uh, was that 55 or is that 75? Let's see if 55 works. It's a 55, perfect. All right, we got our last stack. We got a couple chunky guys. This is a chunky. Did we get a patch auto? That'd be my first patch auto in this product, which would be kind of cool. The boys say hello if you guys missed them. Uh, Andre Reed, Randy Moss, Jason Seahorn, and there you have it, William Ford. Look at that auto. That is sweet. Not numbered or anything for the San Francisco 49ers. That is a sweet-looking auto, though. Respect, respect to the vets. They knew how to do cursive, man, and it makes a difference. It really does. It really does. That's a cool-looking one. We have Dan Marino on the refractor. Another Danny, Frank Gore, and a Bettis. We're going to open the Thick Boy last, I think. All right, let's keep it going. Donovan McNabb here. Noel Cromwell, Mike Singletary, Adrian Peterson, Marcus Allen on the refractor, Steve Young, Jim Kelly, and a Rod Smith. That was kind of like a dud pack, if you will. This is the Thick Boy. We'll go here. And then Thick Boy last. Come on, give us a patch, Otto. We don't want to see Otto here. We don't want to see Otto. That is rookie. Okay, we got a, we potentially have a big card coming. I actually kind of want to see Otto now. <laughs> Since it's literally one of the four. There's only four rookies in here. And they're all the big boys. Levis. Will Levis on the purple checkered to 75. 11 out of 75. That's actually pretty sweet. That's a nice card. We'll take that. Goes well with the colors too. I like it. And pretty low numbered. 75. Pretty low number. All right. Did we get a patch auto? The moment we've been all waiting for. Come on. Be a thick card in here. Oh. Wait, is that booklet? What is that? Can you get booklets? Did we get back-to-back? -back? No, it's just a thick boy. I think we did get a patch auto. That is a massive card. All right, we got to pull from the back. AP. I'm, I'm nervous. Troy Aikman. I am nervous. Eddie George. On the refractor, another Troy Aikman. We have a Bruce Smith. Stephen Davis. Brian Westbrook. It's a Viking. Moss. What is this? Dante Culpepper out of 125 on the patch auto. Is this game worn? Come on. The relic contained in this card was worn by the featured player. Love it. That is one thing I do like about this product. They actually put game worn stuff in there, player worn stuff in there. Dante Culpepper out of 125, 50 out of 125. That is pretty nifty. 
That is pretty nifty, folks. I love it. I like it. I want some more of it. Do I have a big boy for this? This is a pretty big boy. Let's see. That might be a little bit too big of a boy. Is this good? Yeah. There we have it. All right. So Dante Culpepper, Patch Auto, Will Levis is 75, William Ford Auto, a nice Midnight Will Levis, a nice Refractor Stroud, Amadola out of 50 gold, Jason Seahorn 199, uh, Jason Seahorn out of 99. We have a Will Levis, Joe Montana out of 175, a Lawrence Taylor out of 199, another Levis, and a Gronk out of 250. Not a bad box. Not a bad box. Like I said, it's unlicensed, so the, pro the, the price of the product is a lot cheaper, obviously. But honestly, value's kind of there. It's a fun rip. It is. Um, you just don't know what you're going to get, which I like. So... There you have it, folks. Appreciate you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you tonight on Whatnot. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Keep ripping them packs.